a man from Bradford who facilitated the sale of over £4 million worth of drugs and was living a luxury lifestyle going on holidays to Dubai, Rolex, watches, fast cars, the lot, has been jailed. Faze, rare man who's 37, bought and sold drugs including cocaine, heroin and cannabis over an 11-week period from March to June 2020. Despite the short time frame, Leeds Crown Court heard he facilitated the sale of drugs worth £4,227,000. The prosecutor Tom Story told the court Rehman arranged with a supplier from Liverpool to buy stock which included Class A drugs and conversed with suppliers and customers on Encro Chat which we know was an encrypted telephone and messaging system classified by the NCA as a criminally dedicated secure communications platform designed for and used by criminals. Mr Story said users he communicated with including one with a code named Stocky Giant who was a supplier in Liverpool and one named Hippo Crown who was a customer. The prosecutor said on April the 20th he sold one kilo of cocaine to another EncroChat user. On the 21st of April he made Stocky Giant aware Ramadan started soon and he needed a lot and needed 50 kilos on each delivery. The court heard that in another conversation with Stocky Giant Rare man of Bradford ordered cannabis, cocaine and heroin before he told him cannabis had been stolen from a warehouse. Rare man went on to order 5 kilos of cocaine and 1 kilo of heroin. The prosecutor said on the 24th of April, Stocky Giant agreed he would deliver the cocaine and heroin separately and an address in Bradford was provided. The courier arrived that afternoon and three vehicles were involved, messages showed. Rare man offered to sell cocaine to Hippo Crown and arranged to meet another EncroChat user due to high demand near a corner shop that evening. The court heard another delivery of cocaine was made from Stocky Giant on April the 25th and later that day, Rayman asked for another 5 kilos as he said he had sold 2 kilos that day and 28 kilos that week. Prosecutor said later analysis showed messages between Rayman and other users where he made reference to Rolex watches and wanting a car for his wife which he would exchange for cannabis. The prosecutor said the EncroChat system was compromised by the Dutch and French authorities on June the 13th that year, just days after Rayman had made it clear he did not want to travel for drugs as he didn't want to risk being caught on ANPR cameras. The court heard Rayman told another user he wanted to buy as much as he could before leaving his role in the drug dealing operation before July. In other messages, Rayman bragged about being able to sell 40 to 50 kilos of heroin a month and in June he made reference to cannabis and cocaine being his main area of business. The court was told Rayman communicated with another EncroChat user, Lynx Basil, who he had met in Dubai. The prosecutor said on 11th of May when he and Lynx Basil discussed the availability of handguns and they discussed respective KG packages. They showed pictures of blocks of drugs with various logos on pictures of cash ready to exchange for drugs. The NCA noticed Rayman travelling to Liverpool and visiting a safety deposit box in Bradford. Prosecutor said between March and June 2020, Rayman supplied 55 kilos of cocaine, which was 5 kilos per week, with a wholesale price of £39,000 per kilo, 50 kilos of heroin and 295 kilos of cannabis, and he said the total value or the street value of the drugs was just over £4 million. The court heard he was arrested on February 11, 2022, after police stopped a black Mercedes car in which he was the passenger. A search of his own revealed just under £2,000 in cash, several high-value watches and weighing scales which held traces of cocaine and heroin. During his interview, he produced a statement denying all the offences and answered no comments to all questions. However, he pleaded guilty to two counts of conspiracy with others to supply Class A drugs and one count of conspiracy with others to supply Class B drugs after a plea trial and preparation hearing last year. He had indicated a guilty plea to a lesser charges at the magistrate's court. In his defence, his solicitor said that he had been a charity worker who had visited Lebanon and Pakistan and had featured in local media for it. He said Rayman had a role in the hierarchy where Stocky Giant was a supplier and there was a person above him and above them were likely to be the importers. The court also heard that Rayman was sentenced back in 2010 for possession of a prohibited firearm and ammunition, but his defence added he had no drug or trafficking convictions on his record. The recorder of the court told the court, despite having no income, Rayman led a luxurious lifestyle with cars and high-value watches such as Rolexes. As he jailed him, he said, already you were established as a major drug dealer by the time your activities were discovered. It is clear it was an extremely sophisticated operation. I have no doubt you regret the pain and any suffering that you've caused your family. 
but the sentence you must receive. So Mr. Rayman was jailed for 15 years. This is a new story coming from Bradford Ways. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked. Keep it real.